welcome back. Have you ever tried to find the right church to attend to grow your Christian spiritual life? And when you finally find it, you never notice any growth in your Christian life. You don't notice any changes in your life at all. You don't see your problems being solved. Well, that is because church attendance doesn't grow your Christian life. Instead, you should try other strategies that I'm going to share with you. God bless you, people of God. This is Life Changes Show. I am the evangelist Dr. Margaret Komako. Welcome back to the channel where it's all about tactics on how to get miracles and breakthroughs so that you can live a happy life here on earth. I understand most of what I'm going to be telling you is somehow controversial, but I know for sure that church attendance does not matter at all. It doesn't matter as much as it used to be when I started my Christian spiritual journey right back in the year 2000. I remember all the times I spent trying to find the right church, the right pastor. I also remember how each time I attended a church, I tried every, uh, tried to sing nicely, tried to, you know, to mimic things as I see there. And I also remember that I never noticed any remarkable changes, no remarkable differences in my life as a result of attending these churches or as a result of listening to a pastor's sermon. So I kept on rotating churches, searching for the right one. I also remember, how <laughs> interesting, the only thing I used to feel in some churches is the melody from the church choir. During the period of worship and the period of praise. Great. And this moment's praise and worship session stirred a lot of emotions in me. Sometimes I'll be so happy, sometimes I'll be so sad, and I'll be crying. And I took all this to mean that I am under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Interesting. At a later stage, I just let go the church search thing and church attendance thing because it wasn't yielding any fruit in my life. But once I started focusing on God to know exactly what God wants for me and from me, that was when miracles and breakthroughs started happening in my life up till this day. Now, I am not saying that you have to throw away church attendance. Neither am I saying that you should ignore church service in your Christian life. Instead, what I'm saying is this. You should look at church attendance as having your foot on the door because probably that's where you're going to meet some spirit-filled people who could lead you to receive Jesus and to receive the Holy Spirit. I'll give you an example. Between the year 2019 and 2021, now, I have 
been getting 10 and more miracles and breakthroughs on a daily basis after receiving the Holy Spirit. This shows that if you want to grow your spiritual Christian life to the point of earning miracles and breakthroughs, then you have to start your Christian life with the right step. And the right step is to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And next, you are to receive the Holy Spirit, which is the active power of God in your life. Church only tells you to wait on God. So, if you're ready to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, just repeat this prayer of salvation after me. Say, thank you, Jesus. Please come to my heart. I know you are the Son of the living God. And I know you died and God raised you from death. I know you are alive today. I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord of my life from this day on. For through you and in your name, I have eternal life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Congratulations, you have received Jesus. I invite you to receive the Holy Spirit, which is the active power of God. If you're ready to receive the Holy Spirit, place your right hand on your forehead like this. I'll lead you to it. Receive the Holy Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Congratulations. You have received the Holy Spirit. You are loaded with powers. Now you go ahead and read your Bible. Pray regularly. When you pray, do not cry and do not beg in prayers. Make declarations to God. You know that church, as I was telling you earlier, only tells you to wait on God. But it doesn't tell you what to do while waiting on God. So this makes most Christians fold their arms while waiting on God to come and do it all for them. No! That's not how it works. This will not give you breakthroughs and miracles. Church also tells you to sow a seed, to pay your tithes, pay your offerings, to support God's work and to support the needy people, which is so good. But you can see for yourself that this does not help you to know how to establish a personal and intimate relationship with, with God, which is the most important. It is the core of Christianity. I am advising you today to instead work hard on growing your Christian spiritual life by spending time on, on, on your personal development as a Christian. Spend time to learn and know how to connect with God on a daily basis. By using my therapeutic formula for success in life called math devising. Math devising is what will earn you miracles and breakthroughs. And what is math devising all about? Math devising is first receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, then receive the Holy Spirit, then pray constantly, then sing praise and worship songs to God on a daily basis, then read your Bible on a daily basis, and meditate on the word. Speak in tongues. Make positive declarations. Sit and have conversations with God on a daily basis. Magnifies. The big question.
question is, you have all this information, but how are you going to put all of this in action? Go below this video and click on the subscribe button to get a free 30 day session on map devising for free. Go to the comment section below this video and leave your contact. I'll contact you. What is good about this channel called Christian Miracles and Breakthroughs is that all the videos are to help you overcome all the struggles that are preventing your Christian life from getting and reaching its potentials. What is good about this channel called Christian Miracles and Breakthroughs is that it has videos on success in life arranged in playlists. You will find videos covering how to get miracles and breakthroughs. You will find videos in gospel music, praise and worship. You will find videos on how to have a personal relationship with God. You will find videos on how to be successful in life so that you can live the good life that God has prepared for you. So on this channel called Christian Miracles and Breakthroughs, you would learn how to activate miracles and breakthroughs in your life. You will learn how to be on a good standing with your spiritual life or your business. Isn't that what you want? Remember, these are all tested and proven solutions for success in life. I have applied all this in my life and it's working beautifully. And my clients can attest to that. Church attendance is what usually delay Christians to grow to spiritual maturity. But I'll tell you, church attendance is not the only thing that causes delayance and confusion in the lives of most Christians. Prayer is also not as correct as it ought to be. And that's why in my next video, I'm going to be talking about that. And the title of the next video is Crying and Begging in Prayers Won't Earn New Miracles and Breakthroughs. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. This is Life Changes Show. Bless you.